For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on your Monday, August 19th, my name is Ian Kelly, and these are some of the stories we're working on at this hour. A citizens group is asking the Brattleboro Select Board to declare a climate emergency. Members of the group will appear before Select Board members tomorrow. The group initially presented a proposed declaration of emergency document at the August 6th Select Board meeting. A revised document was submitted to the town on August 15th. Board members will also be asked if they wish to create a sustainability coordinator position or to invest available funds in projects, grants, or other programs to achieve greater energy efficiency and sustainability in town government and in the community. A weekend motorcycle ride has raised over $43,000 for the Brattleboro Retreat. 172 people were involved with the 10th annual Ride for Heroes this past Saturday. The money will be used by the Retreat's Uniform Services Treatment Program. Crews will be building new piers for the Interstate 91 Williams River Bridge in Rockingham this week. Abutment work continues on both the north and southbound bridges. A single line, uh, or rather a single lane of traffic in both directions will be on the north bridge with reduced speeds in the work zone. State officials will hold several public hearings on a plan for New Hampshire's forests. The State Division of Forests and Lands is working on the Forest Action Plan 2020, which will assess current forest conditions and trends, as well as potential threats and concerns. There will be two hearings for those working in the natural resource industry. The first will be from 2 to 4 tomorrow in Lancaster, the second from 2 to 4 August 26th in Concord. The Vermont Department of Fish and Wildlife Department is seeking volunteers to become Let's Go Fishing instructors who can pass on the fishing tradition to the next generation of Vermonters. The department will be hosting a one-day training workshop for new instructors on Saturday, September 14th at the Buck Lake Conservation Camp in Woodbury. Instructors in the Let's Go Fishing program organize and instruct clinics in their communities for young people and their families. WTSA Sports, quite the month for the Red Sox' Rafael Devers. He went 4 for 5 yesterday, had a homer, a couple of doubles, 4 RBIs. Red Sox rally from an early 6-run deficit. They beat the Baltimore Orioles 13-7, to completing a 3-game sweep of Baltimore. Boston has won 5 straight. They have an off day today before they turn around and host Bryce Harper in the Phillies tomorrow night. Mike Clevenger struck out 10 and 5 shutout innings. The Indians tamed the Yankees 8-4 for a split of their series. The Yankees have a travel day today. They head out to the West Coast where they begin a series with the A's in Oakland tomorrow night. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on your Monday, August 19th, my name is Ian Kelly.